just to ratchet up all uh, Rishi Sunak's anxiety about Rwanda, uh, the President of the European Court of Human Rights has indicated that uh, Britain would be in breach of its legal obligations if it were to ignore the emergency orders from a court to block attempts to send asylum seekers back to or on to Rwanda. Uh, so um, Mr O'Leary, who is the president of the ECHR, said that states had a clear legal obligation to obey Rule 39 and that by ignoring Rule 39, on whatever terms, on whatever spurious um, pseudo-legal parliamentary terms that can be concocted up by the emergency legislation that Rishi Sunak is trying to devise would cause irreparable damage to an individual and I suspect therefore the use of that word irreparable damage uh, could cause irreparable damage to the reputation of the UK. Um, Sunak has said that he's been crystal clear repeatedly that he won't let a foreign court stop us from getting flights off and getting this deterrent up and running. But the point is, it's not a foreign court which has uh, stymied the Rwanda plan. It's the uh, Supreme Court which has done that. So the, <laughs> this, this sort of nonsense that it's all foreign courts and lefty lawyers, well, no, it's the Supreme Court which stopped things. And uh, the thought that um, it's going to be a... Uh, um, a pile of lefty lawyers and the ECHR, yes, maybe, but I think the Supreme Court will probably also have a word to say. And I think it's fascinating that the uh, upper house, the House of Lords, has now said, well, we won't ratify the treaty with Kigali until there is evidence that the 10 points uh, that are itemized are completed. And I think it's going to be very difficult for Kigali to conform to that, which is one reason I'm sure that um, uh, the president of Rwanda has tried to wriggle out of the obligation and said, well, you know, we're quite happy to just give the money back. Too much effort. There's too much of a spotlight on Rwanda, of course. And Rwanda maybe has not been playing entirely fair, but the point is Rwanda is struggling to emerge from a uh, serious civil war and from its own problems. And it's ridiculous to expect Rwanda to be um, uh, at, a, at a level of humanitarian well-being and structure that we would expect from somebody who is shouldering our responsibilities. That is why it is absurd to be passing on our responsibilities entirely to another country. Yeah, absolutely, for Rwanda to be a stopgap. Absolutely, for R Rwanda effectively to be a holding pen for people, but not to keep them permanently, and certainly not to be a deterrent. It's so insulting to another country to say, you're a deterrent. Nobody would ever want to go to Rwanda. What a ridiculous thing to say.